What up, players? It is Warbots Tay off in this mug. Welcome to a video showcase where I am just doing a final overview of the orc project that I've been working on since earlier this year. Some of you from the May Painting Challenge will remember it. I have been slogging away trying to bring them up from my basic Warboss level to a warm master standard, and it has just been a blast to get through them. My my goal was to make each and every single orc boy look individual from all of his mates. They've all basically got checker patterns on their hand weapons, and there's no shooters. All these this mob of 87 orc boys, they're all uh, armed with a choppa and a slugger. So their hand weapons or their choppas, I've given them all the, even if whether or not they're like low tech axes to sword knife things to um uh, chain sword looking things they've all got checker patterns on them and their weapons or their sluggas all have yellow plates with either dags or flame designs on them i'm sorry i don't have my usual uh iphone camera set up i'm holding um my <clears throat> my my ipad and recording with that so that's why it's a little bit shaky so my apologies all of the checker patterns have been highlighted. So you can see there is um, highlighting in the black and uh, in the white. I actually built up from a gray to a white, nice white color. And I highlighted the black with, I think it was Dark Reaper on all of the checkers. The orc skin is not the bright, vibrant, colorful green. I think it was a great idea for the client to... When the client sent me the test models, I was happy with it because the skin was a little bit darker and more olive toned and uh, gritty and muted rather than the bright radioactive green that you see Games Workshop's orcs and goblins painted in. So I, I, I thought that was great. It looks a little bit more realistic, realistic and it allowed me to do some effects. Like if you take a look at this guy, when it focuses there, I was able to add flesh colors, like pink flesh colors to his face. And to hold on, I was gonna get a hope it doesn't get too blurry. To uh, add like a little bit of highlighting, add some pink and and bone color to the lips and to the eyebrows, and I was able to do able to do this with all of the orc boys. Just give a little bit of of a different shading there and uh, some really interesting highlights. So okay, you'll also notice that some of them have checkers on their straps. I tried to find all of the ones that had black straps and do checker patterns. So you could pick up any one of these guys and find four, at least four examples of freehand on them. Sorry, it's going to get a little, little, little shaky. So I'm going to, let's randomly pick one and show you what I mean. This guy here has a shoulder pad done in the flames. He's got checker patterns on both sides of his choppa. He's got a bad moon. All of them have, with back plates, have bad moon symbols freehand painted on them and that's basically just doing an orc uh, or a black crescent moon rather and then adding in li little yellow squinty eyes and sh uh, uh, spiky teeth and then cleaning it up with black again and then uh there's oh this guy's only got three freehand anyways you can kind of tell um here here's one his this guy's armor plate has black dags on it his axe has has a checker pattern on it He's got a gold plate on his slugger, but he's also got uh, black and white checkers on his strap there. And, oh yeah, his his shoulder pad has some flames on it. And on the back, you've got another Bad Moon insignia. And because they're not transfers, they're all freehand painted. Each of the Bad Moon insignias on the back plates look individual. I'm, <laughs> I'm losing my voice. I've been kind of up all night painting these guys, but I really, really had a good time painting them. I hope you guys enjoy them. The back, there's not much to talk about. The commandos you've seen before, I did videos on them. Basically the same level. These were actually my templates for the color schemes and the colors that I wanted to use with the rest of the boys. I painted them first. You'll notice there's a mixture of, I think they're Max Mini heads. Some of them have, have uh, converted heads. <clears throat> and um, some of them are the resin sculpts of the or the resin redos fine cast of the old metal sculpts. Love them, absolutely love them. And these guys, the Ludas, they are some of my favorite models because they are so weird and wacky. And some of the, some of them, if if you haven't never painted an orc Luda mo model before, I definitely suggest you do it. These guys I painted up to have plasma coils heating up and little electric balls little balls with electricity dancing on them 
and uh, you could tell that they've got like on the top it's like a las cannon and a las rifle on the bottom I tried to do um, or I did do all of the little dials so that's basically just painting white and then black for where the little uh, hand is and then red at the end to show like a extreme emergency I did some checkers on the back free just a lot of free hand wherever I could because like I said this is a war master level job that means my highest highest level of skill trotted out and I just really really think that the amount of work I put in is reflected in the final product this guy I painted up a bunch of them have these Tau fusion blasters on them so I painted them up because Tau was just re-released when I was working on them and so I decided to paint them up in the that white with red accent colors from the new Tau Codex. Gave a little bit of glowy, glowiness there. And yeah, the accent colors for for the Luda weapons, because the weapons are so weird, I just basically painted them all in lead belcher. I gave them a wash, and then I when I was doing the highlighting, I added in some gold accents on all of the um, I guess connecting pieces there. But yeah, even on the back, the loot is in the back. You see lots of them have checker patterns and teeth or dags, flames. So basically, it is just my highest level of skill for the amount of work that I put in for the amount of models you see here. And I'm really, really proud of it. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope it motivates you to kick up your game to the next level. Because uh, if, if nothing else, I want my channel to just inspire and motivate you guys to do the best you can. Don't ever, uh, unless you, you know, you're really just getting a model out to play and you don't care at all about the models. If you are really interested in your army and interested in upping your game as an artist, then take the extra time to make a rank and file plastic starter set guy look good to the point where you are proud to have them on the field. You know, if these are just a bunch of, it looks like Attack on Black Reach guys, the old single pose ones where you just mix and match the arms and uh, there's some of the plastic kit boys with the multi-pose posability on them and I'm, I tell you it's just so amazing when you have them all painted up and you give, get them to the standard that you are happy with you are going to feel good so I had a lot of fun with it I hope the client is happy I hope you guys are happy and excited to to really get to painting after watching this video and um, I'd love to hear from you guys what is the most um, mentally, uh, I, I want to say not, ex not exhausting, but mentally challenging army you've ever painted. And um, how did you feel when you finished and you got to look at it on the table like this, spread out in front of you? This is just amazing. I, I, um, I assembly lined most of them and uh, it was a slog and it was soul crunching and draining but really I, it's one of the things I love best, especially about commission painting but just on my own. I love taking bare plastic models and working them through the stages until I'm until I get a paint job that I'm happy with. I'm, I'm sorry it's so shaky. I might I don't know if I want to put it through the YouTube um, shaky correctness because I don't have an iPad. Uh, what's it called? A tripod that'll fit this this iPad. But thanks for watching. A little blurry. Let's see if we can focus it. There we go. Let me know what you think. And I hope you guys are all doing all well out there in YouTube land. And uh, leave me a comment down below. Hit up my website if you'd like to uh, commission me or check out some of my other commission work. It's warbosstastestudios.com. And it, yeah, if you want to commission me for a job, then just drop me a line. Warbosstastestudios at gmail.com. That's all one word. Warbosstastestudios at gmail.com. And um, it is the season. It's uh, the Christmas season. So if you see this and it motivates you to get your army painted, something that's been in your closet for a while, then yeah, drop me a line. I'd love to hear from you and I hope you are all doing well. We'll talk to you later.